does size really matter? Can you tell the difference between the size of these two balls? A lot of people on here are trying to convince you that the size of your LDL lipoproteins, your low-density lipoproteins, actually matters. They tell you that the large fluffy ones are okay and that the small dense ones are not. Look at these two balls. I'll put them closer. Is there actually a difference? The large ones can be up to 24 nanometers in size and the small ones are about 18 or 19 nanometers in size. When you look at these, there really isn't a difference. Anything below 70 can get into your arterial wall. Now, whether it's 18 or 22 or 24, all of these are not going to have any problems getting into your arterial wall. So it really makes no sense when people try to convince you that this ball is any different than this ball or that the large fluffy ones are different or more atherogenic than the smaller, more dense ones or the other way around. There's almost nothing, there's almost no evidence or scientific research that shows there's a difference. We used to wonder about this back in like 2002, 2005. We didn't know it was this theory in medicine, sort of like other theories that we wonder about and it turns out it really didn't matter. The large fluffy ones and the small dense ones all get into your arterial wall similarly at similar rates. They may carry different amounts of cholesterol into your arterial wall, but there's more of them that go in or less of them that go in. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to how much total cholesterol is being carried by the low density lipoproteins. And if you want to be a little more specific, you can measure apolipoprotein B, which tells you how many of these are floating around in your bloodstream because that's really the number that matters. Follow Dr. Allo. I'm a board-certified cardiologist. I will teach you how not to have heart disease.